Hi, I'm Eckerd Inik, lead developer at Rackforms. In this video, we're going to do a feature tour update for build 836. So the basic idea with these videos, if you've never seen them before, is briefly, we have a lot of features and fixes that are pushed into Rackforms on a very regular basis, usually two to three updates a month. And to make sure that you're able to uh, make best use of these new features and fixes, I'd like to at least talk about a little so that you get a feel for what's changed and indeed how you can improve your own workflow with Rackforms. Uh, so let's get started. So first things first, build 832. Uh, there's one really big feature added and this is uh, bucket repeaters now support email plus. So if I go into a bucket demo job here, we can actually see this in action. So bucket repeaters and email plus. Basically, if you've never used a bucket repeater before, they're simply how we allow you to uh, have your users kind of click a little plus button um, and add an unknown elements, uh, unknown number of uh, grouped of elements to the page. So let's say you're adding a baseball team or you have uh, some you know, concert and you're adding bands that are playing. You don't know exactly how many bands are gonna be, so you give the user the ability to say, right, here's one band, let me add a second, a third, and a fourth, etc. cetera. Um, and so that's important data to capture. And we can now use these in emails very simply by simply using the brand new bucket token right here. So you can see that in the tooltip it is listed, it is simply bucket and the name of the bucket that we have. And then that will be printed in a beautiful list uh, right in your email. Uh, moving on to 833 then, we had a couple great new features here as well. So um, a lot of the work that I do with Rackforms personally is application development. And one of the things that I find with application development is a lot of times I'm doing some crazy thing and I really need to have uh, Rackforms almost stay out of the way, right? And one of the ways that that often comes up is if I have like a navigation element that I've added here, which is simply just a bunch of HTML with some uh, uh, code in here. Um, I was creating these A links right here and the A links were essentially like buttons that you could push. And Rackforms is actually applying styles to that um, by way of this guy right here, right? So it's actually applying a form link color and uh, possibly underlining links if I had this checked. Um, so in other words, it was doing something that was helpful for normal forms, but not for app development. So we've simply added a new feature that just says, right, don't use styles uh, when I build this page, right, for links. Just leave them alone, I'll determine what they look like. Uh, it's something that's specific, but if you're building applications, it's really, really handy now, because uh, it lets you write less code, basically. Um, the other really big feature, and this should almost be a major feature here, but, um, the other big one is iframe auto resize mode. So one of the things that I regularly do is I will build an application, again, like we're looking at right here, I'll basically have a page that includes other pages as iframes. So this page has iframes for each one of these three guys right here. And again, I'm using the block element to do that. Blocks, if you haven't seen them, can simply be found under layout. And basically the block then is just the iframe code for this particular item. Well, the new feature is, uh, because iframes can have uh, variable width content and variable height content, um, it's kind of a pain to have to keep setting the height and the width of our iframe because after all, the iframe can be any size, or I should say the content can be. And so this uh, new mode right here simply says that if I have an iframe on my page, I can tell Rackforms to automatically resize it based on the content that it has. This ensures that whenever my user is looking at this page, if I have 10 entries in here or 100, the iframe is always going to resize appropriately to show all that content. Of course, we don't have to have enabled if we don't want to, but for most forms, this is a huge, huge time saver. Uh, finally, we also have a brand new feature for applying font styles to all related items. So we actually have this in a couple of different places. Let me go ahead and create a new job to show this off here. We actually have this in a couple places. So if I have, um, let's say this page header right here and actually styled it in some particular way, I can actually grab the header style and apply it by simply clicking this guy. But I didn't have a way of doing that for labels. So for example, if I change this label to something like this, I didn't then have an easy way of applying this to the rest of the elements. Well, now if I want to apply this style, all I have to do is click this guy right here, apply font size, color, and weight to either same type on this page or all items on the page. So really, really nice time uh, shortcut there. Moving up to build 834, uh, we've added React support as one of our included JavaScript libraries. 
So once again, Rackforms is a specialist at allowing you to write custom code, and that's none more true than in the JavaScript block right here. So by default, Rackforms keeps all of your forms nice and small, so it doesn't actually include a JavaScript library, but we can include one very simply here under the page JavaScript CSS code area, and simply one of our new options is React. We can actually see this here in a sample job that I created, where if I go to React and basic uh, React demo right here, we could see how React uh, code can now run directly within uh, React form. So very, very simple. Uh, moving up to build 835, a uh, couple new features here. We've added a dark theme editor overlay. Uh, what this basically means is if I have kind of a reverse type layout, so let's say I want my font colors to be white, um, it started to get a little bit tricky to handle this in React Forms, right? It's, you kind of just lost everything. Now we could certainly create a page background color for this, right? I could just go in here and change my form background color. But that kind of meant that we're now applying a form background color. If I didn't want that, it was kind of a pain to keep, you know, redoing that and doing it again. And so now we simply have a new dark theme layout for our grid overlay right here. All I have to do is select it, and now Rackforms actually shows me um, a grid that displays in the editor, but not in the outputted form right here. So it makes it much, much easier to work on these dark form layouts right here. Um, I'm actually going to probably make a full video on this one, so I'm going to skip this for now. Let's just move on to build 836, two major features. So the first is we have a much expanded and improved designer mode. So if you've been using React Forms for a while, this probably won't make a huge difference to you. But if you're trying to influence, or excuse me, introduce React Forms to other users, uh, this may be something important. So basically, if I have my page selected here, I'll notice that I have literally hundreds of things that I can change about this page, or at least many dozen. Um, that's a lot for new users though, so we can simply toggle on designer mode by checking this box right here. Rackforms then basically takes almost all of the options uh, that are considered advanced and it just leaves the most basic options that a user might want to touch. So font family, page style, etc. Um, you can see we have far, far fewer options. And of course if I added things like a text field, that applies to the entire editor. Now I should say, we've actually had designer mode for a couple of years in React Forms now. The new feature is that it's been aggressively expanded, right? So if you have somebody that's new to React Forms, I would turn on this designer mode right here, and they are going to have a much easier time at setting the things that they need to uh, when they're first getting started. And if they feel comfortable, they can toggle it off and get the full version back at any time. Simply unclick this, refresh our page, and we're back to our standard mode. Finally, the last thing I want to look at is probably the coolest. This is the uh, save, and, save and Resume mode. Uh, we have a brand new one called Fully Automated. So it should be said that uh, like a lot of the features we've looked at here today, uh, Rackforms has actually had a saving return system for about five years now. So all it means is if I have a form and I want my users to be able to save and resume later, I could select from IP-based or session-based. Now, IP-based uh, was easy to set up, but it wasn't very secure. Session-based was super secure, but not very easy to set up. Um, this new mode here, fully automated, is the best of both worlds. Uh, to turn it on, all I have to do is select active fully automated. And notice I haven't changed anything about my form right here. Uh, but when I run this form now, Rack Forms will automatically put a new submit button next to my existing one. And if I click it, Rackforms is automatically going to create a save link that I can simply copy and then paste into any other browser window on any other computer, and that session will automatically be restored right here. Right? So very, very simple. It has the security of the, uh, uh, the second method or session one, but the ease, in, especially in terms for the user, of our first one. There's no login. It's just you have to have this proper URL right here. Um, so it's something that... Um, for larger forms, more complex things, this is a hugely powerful feature, and I'm glad that we now have a basically a fully automated way of giving you that capability. Uh, so that's basically it. That is a look at the last couple of builds. Of course, there's a lot that I left out right here, a lot of little fixes in the last uh, two or three months here with React Forms. Uh, not so much with the forms you create, but with the editor itself, a lot more consistency. And of course, you keep working on making the editor itself a bigger, um, uh, a, a bigger and more pleasurable thing to use, right? Rackforms is complicated. Um, there's a lot of features, but with things like our designer mode and some of the UI tweaks that we make, and uh, hopefully it's more enjoyable than ever basically uh, to use. So with that, I shall leave you. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please let us know. Info at rackforms.com is the email address. And uh, thank you much for watching.